Hello, it's Estrella with a reading for the collective. Take what resonates throughout the rest. I hope that this message finds everyone well. Watch out for scammers in the comments soliciting you for readings. That's not me. Um, I was just feeling really strange energy and so I'm picking up on something. So we've got this three of coins. So somebody is networking or someone wants to build something. Someone wants to build something with this group. Someone's a false person inside this group or who wants to build with these people or someone built something with a false person. Um, this person might be showing a lot of strength, but it's in the upright. Uh, service card came out as well, so it feels like, it's almost like networking with this false person for a sense of strength or someone getting help or something like that. But the problem is that someone wants to win at all costs, they've been a bully, or the fight is over and there's some sort of resentment and, and there's some kind of a change here. Um, someone's maybe not someone's friend anymore and someone is withdrawing or someone's being like forced to uh, isolate. So we've got this false person trying to build something or someone trying to build something, a uh, project or a group collaboration, um, working together towards a common cause. Someone can help someone, um, but maybe they, they need something to change because someone wants to win something at all costs. Or now people mistrust someone. There's a friend who mistrusts someone. And in the subconscious, there's this Four of Wands and this Ace of Cups. So someone feels like there's some sort of milestone, union, new beginning in love. It's in their subconscious. Um, I clarified, I got, I got gift. Clarified again. I got Empress, two of coins. I also got Lord Reverse. So it feels like, someone feels like in their subconscious that, that there's a masculine energy who's been turned upside down and is juggling another uh, energy, a feminine energy that is like a perfect match. That's like a dream come true. That's also a gift. There's some older woman attached to the situation um, who is not at the party or not happy about this or not at the gathering or something like that. Um, and then in the recent past, we have three of cups. So it could be a celebration or a third party situation, some sort of like letter didn't come in. And, uh, invite didn't come in um, or someone didn't pay a bill or someone's a third party situation and they don't want someone to see something in some information about it whatever it is it's this masculine it's the masculine who is king of coins reverse very controlling uh, materialistic authoritarian in this third party situation not getting some information out or not having the money. Um, I'll clarify. I just wanted to get you guys um, caught up. So this person is planning on being a leader or going towards a leader. Um, mind over heart. Being very um, logical and analytical about moving forward. They feel like that's their best pathway. They're going to have to leave behind this these group of like hanger honors. Um, they're going to they're gonna need some time alone. That's what they're thinking. In the near future, we have eight of coins. Someone work, working very diligently on something. It has to do with a child and wedding reverse. So the end of a marriage or... Uh, not really sure. We got also the, the um, high priestess here. So 
This could be happening in secret, or there could be uh, a feminine energy involved in this that's very intuitive or something like that. This person is either talking to a king of coins, wants to be a king of coins, or is looking at someone like they're a king of coins. Whoever this is, main male, this is not the masculine from your past. This is another masculine energy. This could be a brother, a father, a... Um, um, uh, Alright, so... So, yeah... There's some male here who's like a, a leader, a money person, a business business person with masculine energy, most likely most likely a man. Um, could be a father, a brother, a boss, a partner. Um, this could be a companion, but there's some sort of misfortune connected to this person. Um, Greed, obstacles, someone's being very possessive, and it's just, it's create, it's the whole thing is misfortune, so. There's misfortune connected to this king of coins because of greed. It really depends on whose perspective this reading is coming from, for to know exactly what's going on, because... In the environment position, we have the devil um, clarified by despair, and this and this same three of pentacles, and this toxic feminine. So we have the toxic feminine and the three of coins here, which is the center of the issue, and we have the toxic feminine and the three of coins in the environment. So this is the same person that in the environment position is coming across very, very dark, very obsessive, very, um, this person could be coming across as if they are the ones that are in despair or there's someone else here who's in despair because of something having to do with uh, some sort of cooperation or teamwork some sort of influence or common goal. So so this feminine energy, it feels like is creating despair or is in despair because uh, of some sort of common goal. And this, but, but in the environment position, this is like a feminine energy that's toxic, that really needs, um, something needs to happen to solve this situation because this person is very troublesome. Especially with the devil there. Very toxic. Obsessed, jealous, materialistic. Um, devil also rules addiction. So, what I'm feeling like so far is that this person is trying to stand in the way of somebody's being able to network or or something like that because they want to win at all costs but something's changing now and it's there's misfortune for this masculine and potentially another masculine two masculines it's like they're dealing with the devil in regards to this network hopes and fears we have the empress we have this this empress in this house and joy, joyous, happy, getting help. Joyous, happy, getting help. Moving on. But then there's someone being very bitter, deceitful, cruel. So someone's moving on and someone's like very, very bitter and cruel. But it feels like two different feminine energies. Like someone is being very bitter and critical of this empress in their house who is very joyous, who is either an expert at something or is getting help somehow. Some sort of problem solving, this, this person has pro 
Some, someone is being very critical of this empress, I feel. And then outcome, we have eight of wands and this queen of wands. So some sort of communication, uh, some sort of quick decision that's made uh, about you um, or you receive a message or you move, you move very quickly or something happens very fast and there's two things that happen at once. Someone gets imprisoned and there's also something to do with love or someone's trapped in love or someone's trapped and can't. It's almost like receiving a call that, from someone who's stuck about love, some sort of communication. This could be also like a social media post. So under the deck we have reunion and reverse. So someone either doesn't want someone to come together and that's the goal or someone feels like there'll never be a reunion. But reunion, something about you here is important. You're from the past, someone from you, someone's upset, they feel in their subconscious like there's a masculine who wants to head towards you, like you're the gift. There's an older woman who's involved somehow. In other words, it's like this masculine is doing, is not doing well because this masculine's match is, is here in the subconscious. It's this, it's this empress. Like this person is worried about the empress and is very critical of the empress who seems to have moved on and is in some house and okay. So, um, six of coins is about making something right or even or even power exchange or giving or receiving something. And then a message. So it's like someone wants to make something right. There could be some sort of like message here, but then, but then there's somebody who's being very manipulative and moody and untruthful. So we've got this untruthful person here, false person. I feel like someone wants to make something. So this might take me a second. Um, so now we're, we're all caught up together. And I'm trying to figure this out. So we have someone who's false. It has to do with building a network. Maybe that's where they got their strength from. So it seems like a lot of people are involved. There's a lot of people involved. Maybe someone like tried to turn someone's like unconditional love into an enemy. It's this false person and this network or this false person with this network or this, this false person had a lot of people cooperating with them. So when they got their strength and they got their help, but now they still want to win at all costs, but it's like the challenge is, is trying to win at all costs because things are changing. And now it's like they have to withdraw. It seems like their friend is not there or there's something, a problem with the friend. They really feel like this masculine energy is juggling the gift, the gift, their perfect match. Or they're going to get a gift but they don't want reunion or, or there's a problem with reunion. Someone could be using of unfair power balance here and being very untruthful and very finicky. This person could be um, pretending to be friendly while they're doing this. Um, it seems like a masculine energy is planning on moving forward away from this scene, this party scene. But it's interesting because we've got this mature man here up in the reverse as a king of pentacles in the reverse. And then here, this masculine is showing up as an emperor in the upright, as a king of swords in the emperor. And then we have a king of coins in the upright here connected to some other masculine that's having misfortune. And then we've got this 
toxic feminine in the environment that is either in despair or someone's in despair because of what they're doing with the network. What they're doing. Someone's in despair because of what someone's doing with, with this network. Because there's a group of people. Okay, so let's let's keep going. <laughs> a dog barking chorus. It's all about manipulating lust. Manipulating lust. Lust. We have devil here. Someone's very lustful. Riches reversed. Losing money, maybe. Everything's changing. Ostentation in the reverse. So it's like greed and materialism. Devil definitely represents that. And someone's in despair in connection to this greed, this materialism, this um, distorted feminine energy, riches. It's like maybe someone's after money or there's a loss of money. <laughs> loss of money because maybe someone wanted to win at all costs. Someone did something here. It's the same person that's in... And, and, and the thing is, when it's in the environment, this is very... Um, this is something not hidden. This is not hidden. People know. So what people know is that there's someone who's very diabolical and lower vibrational energy, very materialistic, all about money. And that this is someone who's causing someone despair or this person is in despair. That's all over money. They want to win all at all costs over money. Maybe they're trying to get someone to help within their network. But it's like they're losing this ostentation. Everything is changing. So this could be someone who is used to a certain lifestyle and they would do anything for it. But it's like they're losing it. I don't know who's the strong person here. It's like going to someone strong for help. Or this person is being very false. As if they can help. I don't know if someone's scamming someone here. I'm not really sure yet. Let's keep going. Someone's worried about achievement reverse. So someone's feeling like in the subconscious that the achievement, this milestone, is connected to you, the Empress, that they're juggling or that they juggled, that turned this Lord upside down. So there's someone subconscious that feels like this masculine belongs with this Empress that this masculine juggled and that the true achievement would be in connection to this empress because that was the gift it's like this is this person's soulmate that's a perfect match and this was supposed to be where this person prospered and this is in someone's subconscious but this makes an older woman very unhappy <laughs> Okay, so three of cups with this mature man. I don't know if it's a third party situation or what. Manipulation reverse. Someone won't be manipulated anymore. Pathway. Someone got a message or didn't get a message that someone's not going to be manipulated, manipulated anymore. Enterprise reverse. So there's a lot of cards that are in the upright in this deck. It's just a lot are coming out re in reverse. This has to do with someone not being able to enterprise, take action, lucky action with this group. They're going to have to let go or someone is going to have to take a break. They don't want to be seen what they're doing here. They're going to someone or they're going to go to someone that's a leader. Whoever this is, this is either two masculine energies or one masculine energy that is very powerful that has like the, the way forward, but they're gonna have to get away from these people or they're gonna have to do it secretly. So someone could be intending on 
becoming the best version of themselves as a masculine energy, or they're going to two different masculines as a pathway. One who's very much a leader, who has earned their title and really knows what they're doing. Like the boss of all bosses. Very much in control of themselves and their environment. And then we've got this King of Swords who's very intelligent and uh, just highly, highly intelligent mind over heart. So this could be the same person, but there's something about not being able to enterprise, but having to be this person, that's the pathway forward, or, or meet this person. Something about this high priestess, secrets, yeah, secrets, high priestess are secrets. So, so something secret happening. Someone's doing something in secret, it has to do with a child. Wedding reverse, eight of pentacles. Why is this king of coins? What, what's the, who is this main male where there's all this, this greedy, there's a greedy main male where there's all this misfortune. How does this person um, play into this? Practicality. Maybe one more. Exaltation. This is like a loss of nice things. We have it here. Ostentation, riches reversed. Ostentation reversed. Exaltation reversed. And this, I have greed and misfortune. Someone was greedy and lost everything. This just feels like, this feels like people who've played a lot of games and are still playing games, who are losing money and unable to uh, build together or messages going back and forth, some sort of like someone needs money or someone's being false. But the whole thing, because this is the environment from this line this way, this is how it appears on the outside. Everything appears misfortune, despair. That's how it appears to the person looking out and from the outside in. This looks like a bad situation. This looks really bad. Devil in the environment, I mean, I guess the only time that that could seem maybe not, it's, you know, someone's bonded to a situation. I guess it could be like, just like the best music and party scene and, you know, the sexiest of things, but generally that's not, I mean, that that's the, the only way that card could ever potentially, but I never really read it that way. I just say, eh, what's the devil? Um, so, and, it, and we have despair here. Despair in this group with this devil. It's literally like, it's like, um, I feel like there was a movie with Robert De Niro as the devil. Or Mickey Rourke played the devil. It's literally like that. It's like, oh, wait, you're really actually the devil. It's like, you know, but it's a female or feminine energy that's got that, like, the mask is off. Very diabolical, causing people despair. That's what I'm getting. So yeah, someone, someone might be trying to make some sort of negotiation here. Someone might be, maybe someone's trying to get help because they're losing everything. I mean, that's, yeah. And then there's this harmony with this empress that someone's just, it's driving someone crazy, but they're very critical of this person, like, moved on. And this empress is, like, an expert at something, or they're getting help, or they're in a home, and they're, they're well. This person moved on. So it's almost like whoever was being attacked is okay, but someone's very critical of them. But the person who was this bully, this false person, this bully and the greedy 
person or people are losing everything. Achievement, riches, ostentation, the group, even the mask is off. So I feel like this, this is like their status and being forced to withdraw. Being forced into isolation, losing their things. This devil here, um, someone's in despair. Someone's in despair. Hmm, choice. Someone made a bad choice. An unbalanced choice. Or someone's got somebody just... The chains, someone's chained. That this could be someone who has addictions even, but I don't know. I think someone just chained to someone that is causing despair, who very much comes across as very diabolical and in the environment. This is a masculine energy that was very greedy that got involved in this for status and networking. Well, now it's like that it seems to be the th very thing that is trapping them. Some sort of message coming to a queen of wands. Friendship. I have the love card there. So we have this love card. This is someone who has, feels very comfortable with someone. This is very much six of cups energy. Eight of, this is like falling in love. Someone could be falling in love and someone feels trapped. So under the deck we have egotism here. So there's a lot of ego, falseness, power plays. Someone doesn't want someone to have any sort of reunion. So it could be that someone's trying to get away from this false person as the ship goes down essentially. And someone doesn't want to let them go. And that's why they come across as in despair. 100%, it's a karmic energy is coming across as a, an issue here in the reverse, in the environment. So everyone and anyone that's in contact with this situation is thinking that this false person is literally like, oh, I just cracked it open, a grudge holder that's a copycat. Like, kind of sick, sick or uh, obsessed. Toxic, very toxic. There could be uh, three, there could be more than just a masculine energy that's in despair here as well. Choices are being taken away. What's interesting is that was what this person was trying to do to you, right? They were trying to take away your choices and your things, your peace, your joy. And now that's what's happening here to them. And it's something about getting help. They tried to ruin your network is too, right? They, I just, uh, it's unbelievable. It's like exactly what they tried to do to you. Lonely, so someone's lonely here. Yeah, they tried to make you lonely. This is someone who like, is losing money. Wow, ignoring and lonely. So we have a false person here that I feel like is wants money or is losing money. Something about their network and riches and getting help. It's like whoever they're trying to reach out to, it's like no one will respond. Because we also have, we, we have this hermit card, which is the problem, which is someone having to um, is get isolated. Someone feels isolated, and now we have lonely and ignoring. So there's a change happening. Someone's getting isolated, and they're losing. They, they, they're losing this bully fight, whatever they try to do. It's causing them to lose their things. Saturn and 
and Taurus. Those are all the nice, the niceties, the nice things. They're losing their things. Riches reversed, ostentation reversed, lonely, being getting ignored. It's being seen as a false person. So this could be a uh, masculine from your past and this karmic feminine, they could be in the same environment, but if they are, this masculine is not, with lonely and ignoring, isn't paying them enough mind in their perception. And that's because this masculine is in despair because it looks like they can't stand the choice they made or something because it's like all their networks are falling apart and they're connected to this person that's coming across as very toxic or everything's falling apart and they've separated from this person and that's why this person is lonely broke I was looking at this you know empress four of wands gift ace of cup so it's almost like for an achievement this yeah it, it's 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 that this person got turned upside down because they needed to be with their empress that's who they were supposed to be with because when they were with their empress they weren't having these problems they weren't broke and they weren't being they weren't in despair like this and they hadn't lost all their networks They were probably doing pretty well when they were with their empress. Anyway, that's in the subconscious. So, um, Carlos in the recent past. Oof. Caught a case, Carlos. Not getting the letter, not giving the letter. Fishing for com something about comments can't can't get the comments. Girl fight reverse. Not sure. M maybe not wanting to be part of it. Wow, incarcerated as a pathway. Emperor King of Swords. So it feels like they're gonna be your pathway forward. Impersonator reverse is feeling like they're going to be locked up or without the, they got to get away from the impersonate. Something about losing someone's chance and feeling stuck. Someone feeling like they're losing their chance, they're stuck. It's like the Eight of Swords, they're thinking about having to get away from these people or also being embarrassed and losing everything. What's happening in secret? Dirty offer reversed. Dirty offer reversed. Reversing the dirty offer maybe. Wedding reversed. Getting out of a situation. You would think I would see the death card. Is, or seven of swords if it was like someone was sneaking away. Someone's trying to take back a dirty offer in secret. Having to do with a child. So there's this main male that's kind of experiencing misfortune as well. This person is also greedy and cares about how things appear. Someone doesn't want this person to move on. But this person's experiencing misfortune. It's like this whole group is all, everything's falling apart for everyone. Jackpot reverse. It's like a loss of everything all at once. This is this is clarifying devil and this karmic feminine in the environment. It's like what people see is that there's a huge loss in connection to this toxic feminine who's losing everything. It could be this toxic feminine that's that's like 
Three of Pentacles can be having to do with work, losing everything, which is what they wanted for you. Cyberbullying. This person is very critical of you, of the Empress. Cyberbullying. That's using words. That sounds like Queen of Swords reverse. Using words to someone's detriment, trying to hurt someone, hopes and fears. Someone's happy in spite of the fact that they're doing this or are intending to do this. It's like dodging bullets. I feel like that's you dodging all these bullets. That's you with this love energy. Seems like someone wants to let go of all of this drama. Someone who's like got mentally um, hasn't dealt with their like emotional trauma from childhood uh, to function enough so that they don't destroy other people's lives. They need to go inwards instead of instead of um, trying to hurt people. Let's just see if there's anything else we need to know. I just, I just think there's a lot of people involved here. Someone's trying to stop someone from moving on in the middle of a misfortune. There's a king of coins here who's, who's in the upright, but is like experiencing they, I feel like they can't get out of the situation either because they were so greedy. Something about perfection. Someone was trying to be perfect or something about someone's per somebody's perfect, but they're losing everything. There were discovery. Everything is changing. Maybe because something was discovered. Yeah, it's over. This is the end because of a discovery. Discovery having to do with bullying. Someone has to withdraw. This is like being shunned. They were coming across like they're perfect, false person with the Knight of Cups in reverse perfection. So coming across like this is very, um, this is putting on an act. This is wearing a mask. This is. This, this takes a lot of energy. Someone's coming across like everything's great, but they're losing everything because they bullied someone and it looks like they're losing and they're being having to withdraw and they did it all for, for things or to appear a certain way. Um, so why? So if there's a masculine energy who doesn't want to be part of this third-party situation anymore, but they're still very materialistic and controlling. Um, something about a miracle. Someone's willpower here, or someone... Accepting the miracle that is like their divine counterpart, wanting to let go of this third party situation, let go of the girl fight. Someone is intending on. Someone wants to move forward, let go of this third party, let go of these pleasure seekers, the superficiality, let go of whatever they were trying to build with this person. Trickery came out for the near future in connection to this dirty offer and secrets. We've got trickery, dirty offer, secrets. High Priestess, eight of coins. So somebody is planning on doing something very uh, sneaky. 
trickery secrets. Okay, we'll find out what that is. We have coins. Misfortune. Perception. Something to do with um, someone wants. Forgiveness in the middle of this misfortune. This king of coins that is not your person from the past. It's another main male. Someone wants forgiveness from this person or this person wants forgiveness. Someone doesn't want someone to move on. Someone wants forgiveness from this main, main, main male in the middle of a misfortune who's also losing things, that wants to be more practical about something here. Grief is clarifying despair in the environment. So, jackpot reverse, despair reverse, devil. This is not a good situation, and this is something that a lot of people can see. So, cyberbully. Someone's just very insecure about you. They're very critical of you. Outcome. We have soulmate. Soulmate is clarifying love, which is clarifying friendship. So this definitely has to do with some type of like, I feel like someone wants to, someone's falling in love or there's some kind of love here in connection to you as the queen of wands, very, very creative, confident, energetic. Someone's very impatient here. Um, could leave it there, but let's just get, like, since it's already a long reading, let's just get... Some... Archetype cards. Okay, goddess. So it's a feminine energy that this reading is mostly focused on. Um, a networker. Yeah, I don't need to. I don't really need to pull anymore. There could be someone here who dibble dabbles in things as well. Or they could be with someone that's like from like a religious. I don't see Hierophant here, but that could be who this main male is. So this is all about this like karmic feminine who is trying to come across like everything is perfect but is getting ignored or is ignoring the situation, is very, very lonely, um, trying to pull together the strength, is losing everything, trying to get help, trying to get help but they just went too far it feels like, especially after what was discovered about this Five of Swords is trying to win at all costs. It's over, it's changing now. And it was all for ostentation and it just, that's very off-putting and it's something about a friend might be gone now. Um, mistrust, people don't trust this person or they're just being like outed from something. Um, and this person feels like in their subconscious that you are the person that was a better match for your person. They juggled you. And now every, it's like everything's on fire and the ship is like sinking. But that's in this person's subconscious. That's not something that they can accept. It's the recent past. I feel like this person hasn't been able to manipulate this this masculine as much. I feel like they're accepting the idea that they've got this sort of like divine counterpart 
but it's like losing everything while they realize they have this miracle or something. Maybe they maybe they didn't, they didn't want to look at something, fishing for comments, or they were fishing for comments and couldn't find something, but but they're just not. Someone couldn't manipulate them, even though they were still in this very controlling energy, very greedy, materialistic, not good. But it's like realizing there's a miracle and there could be an STD here as well. But wanting to get out of this girl fight, this gratitude. Someone could go to jail. They feel like this masculine energy is going to move forward and try to be upstanding now and leave them, leave them stuck. Potentially having to go to jail. Which is why a lot of people, they're losing everything. I mean, it could be. Let's just find out what this trickery, secret trickery is in the near future for the collective. What do we need to know? I feel like it has to do with you. I just saw Empress, Five of Cups, some sort of regret or loss. Someone's maybe grieving about you while well, all the money is like draining from the situation. What's the trickery? What's someone planning on doing in secret? A dirty alpha reverse. Wedding reverse. We just said wedding and now we got Hierophant. Something to do with Hierophant. Some, a secret wedding. Secret offer. Some offer that's not real. Taking away a dirty offer. Six of coins. Trying to get something. Someone's definitely trying to like do something sneaky or tricky. Like try to get something through marriage or church or tradition. Someone, a very dirty offer or secrets. It's a secret. They could be giving someone money, hierophant. Someone with a child, giving someone money. Justice in reverse, creating an injustice. Not wanting to pay attention to the fact that karma is playing out. What are they doing? Justice in reverse. They're paying someone money. Paying someone something. What are they doing? What's the secret? Three of Swords. Cause some sort of heartache for someone. This also fell down. Nine of Swords reversed. This is bullying. This is doing something hasty and out of control. Six of Cups reversed. It's like to maybe keep two people apart somehow. Because I see six, six of cups reverse. Dirty offer, wedding reverse. High priestess. Someone's going to put a lot of work in to do whatever they can to keep trickery, secrets, doing something in secret, having to do with higher fit, an injustice. They could be paying someone to do something here to create some sort of heartache, maybe make someone angry or bully someone. They're gonna bully someone to create some heartache, having to do maybe with reunion or an offer someone wants to make. Hmm. Yeah, they're gonna do something really sneaky here. You would think that, you would think that like, as everything was falling apart for them, they would realize that that's not going to be a good idea. What do we need to know? Broken wishbone wish will not be granted. They're trying to stop a wish from coming true by doing something hasty, maybe even violent, literally causing heartache. Someone's already in despair here. Something about giving and receiving. It's gonna have to do with money, offer, money, money, offer. Stop a wedding. Stop a hierophant. Create an injustice. Eight of coins. Put a lot of effort into 
stopping something, trying to use their power, a power dynamic, being a bully to stop a wish from coming true, doing something in secret. Okay, I just heard a ding. Stop a wish from coming true. They're going to be a bully about it. Is there any more detail? They're going to try to stop some sort of contract or wedding. They're going to use money to do it somehow. You, they're going broke. I don't know. I don't know if they should be spending their money on that. Goldfish. This has to do with material wealth. Diamond. Precious gift. Whale. Great worry over nothing. Claw. Be careful, do not take risks. I don't know if they're trying to manipulate someone here or what they're doing. Bridge, successfully overcoming a problem. I don't know. Now it's a wish, a wish will, a wish is granted. It's something about a wish being granted. And then we've got dagger. Fear, worries, tense situations with the deck. I'm sure we'll find out more about this in the near future. Um, or I guess these are my index cards. Someone's doing something sneaky, having to do with someone's wish. They're going to try to create heartache. They're going to try to stop someone or an offer. They're going to create, do a sneaky offer to stop someone's wish. What are they doing? I feel like maybe create some confusion. They're going to use their words. Throat chakra. Create confusion with their words. Divine. Food, health, bad habits. Them. Drinking a lot, something they're ingesting, or bad ha they've got some bad habit. It's going to be exposed. It might have already been exposed. So, what are they doing to create to block the swish? Throat shocker came out again, so they're gonna say something. Okay. They've already been exposed, but they're gonna say something to bully somehow. What are they gonna they're gonna try to block a wish? They're gonna try to block a union for the duration of time by saying something in the near future. And they're gonna do it in secret. <laughs> 